was staying with the killing of Onikoro of Koro in Ekiti local government area of Kwara State. As the state government and the police have promised to arrest those behind the dastardly act and also kidnapped his wife and two others. The Onikoro of Koro in Ekiti local government of Kwara State, Oba Shegmu was killed in his palace Thursday night. Correspondent Ibrahim Alege has details. Koro town in Ekiti local government area of Kwara State is about three hours drive from Ilori, the state capital. It is a boundary town between Kwara and Kogi State. Here in this palace, the traditional ruler of the town, a retired general in the Nigerian army, Oba Aremu, was killed on Thursday night, a few days after two monarchs were also killed by yet to be identified gunmen in Ikit State. His wife and two other persons were abducted, but one has regained his freedom. They, for a long time, they have not allowed us even to farm. Some people that came from afar to farm around here, we are sent away by them that uh, they should, and so they have been threatening us, and this is the peak of, the, of, their, of their threat. A state government delegation led by the Deputy Governor, Mr. Kari Dalabi, is here to identify with the people in this difficult period. He assures them of government's commitment to arrest the kidnappers and rescue the victims. We will do the needful. Um, what happened last night was horrible and uh, we will do everything within our power to arrest the kidnappers and bring back Kabis's wife and the other two people that were kidnapped. Same assurance is also given by the State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Victor Olaya. He says the long arm of the law will soon catch up with them. We have not slept <laughs> and uh, I can assure you uh, we are everywhere. I don't want to divulge some of <laughs> the things we are doing uh, for obvious reasons, but be sure that uh, I'm doing a lot and before long, the long harm of the law will catch up with them. Different security agents are currently in the community and residents are waiting with bated breath for the arrest of the gunmen and least of the abducted. As at the time of filing this report, the kidnappers are yet to contact the family for ransom. It's indeed a harrowing moment for the people of Koro Ekiti in Kwara State. It's a day they never wished came to pass. But the sad reality is that their king was killed right here inside the palace, while the queen and one other person are still in captivity. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Koro Ekiti, Kwara State. And for more on the incident, the Kwara State Commissioner for Communications, Bola Lukudu, joins me on the news. Thanks for joining us. So we've seen the, the death of three monarchs. Good evening. Good evening. We've you? seen the death of three monarchs in the southwest in less than a, a few days. Um, what more can you tell us about or what's the latest you have on the attackers and, and those who have been abducted? Well, the, for the attackers, we, the security agencies are walking around the clock to fish out the perpetrators. Three people were, the king of Koro was killed, Retired General Shegwan Remo, and immediately Thursday night, uh, a batch of soldiers deployed. Mm. All right, I think we have a um, challenge there with, uh, with uh, Lukoju when we, we connect. We will continue that conversation on the three monarchs that have been killed in the southwest and north central. I understand that she's back. Um, Doctor, you were, you were speaking on the information you have concerning the the um, perpetrators and the abducted family. Yes, the we have security agents that have deployed on site who are combing the forest right now to make sure these people are arrested. Already, this, uh, we have the police, we have the soldiers. On Thursday night, a batch of soldiers were sent to Koro and the Mahat at the God. And of course, the um, state government is mobilizing local communities to be able to tackle this madness of kidnapping. And we have um, a military base in Urago, and the government is establishing another one in Ifelodu local government so that we can tackle in time these cases and reports of kidnapping here and there. So um, you were talking about the, the 
security agents being on top of the uh, top of the matter. Or, but we were listening to some residents earlier in that community who have said um, intelligence was given to security and nothing happened. Um, did you get that information and what's been done to address that? Just like I said earlier, soldiers have been deployed. We're setting up a military base right now in Ifelo. The one has been set up already in Urago because we're having these reports of kidnapping around there and that has died down because the military there has taken over the police and they have restored the security of the area. So another one is, another military base now is being established in Ifelodo. Of course, we, there's a rising insecurity around the country and Kwara State is not relenting their efforts to make sure that Kwara remains a peaceful state. Mm. And I understand when you say that security has been beat up, it's wanting to have security, it's about to be able to um, use intelligence you know, when, or respond to intelligence when it's been given. And that's the question I was asking earlier, if that is addressed with the security agencies. To say, look, um, when residents give this intelligence, we would like prompt response. Yes, the security agencies are responding to intelligence reports. You know, when you send an intelligence, if you get intelligence, we will work on it. And we also have to verify that these reports are real because sometimes people can cook up stories. But we want to be sure that whatever reports we're getting, the security agencies have a way of verifying and they have a way of swinging into action whenever these reports are gotten. Mm. And um, away from intelligence, I want to ask you because we've seen um, the, in the south of where we had on those where two monarchs were killed and now in the north central in Kwara State. Um, are the, are the governors having, are we going to see any concerted efforts among the governors in terms of addressing this? Because Kwara also borders Ikiti, which is in the southwest. In the coming days, of course, the governors put a concerted effort to make sure that southwest is totally rid of kidnappers and people who are perpetrating evil across the southwest and again in North Central. They are not relenting their efforts. That's why I said Thursday night immediately it happened, soldiers were deployed to sites. And we are making sure that Kwara remains peaceful. So I think in the course of the week, the governors will have their own meetings and they will deploy services as regards security issues, especially in the southwest and north central as it concerns Kwara State. Thank you so much for talking to us. Commissioner of Communications, Walaluko Ju, Kwara State.